you want to put here onto the foot and you can come a little bit up here onto this bone here onto the the bottom part of your tibialis anterior and even here I can feel I can feel there some discomfort there so I'm just pressing down pressing down. the calcaneofibular ligament going from the calcaneus bone here your heel bone onto the fibula then you have the talofibula going on uh, joining together the, the, uh, the talus and the fibula in the front. So this is the anterior and this is the posterior. So we have anterior and posterior talofibula and calcaneofibula. So these are the three in the uh, lateral complex of the ankle which are most likely to sprain. The last stage is to bind it. So to give compression again to reduce the inflammation and to give stability to stop in the case of my injury to stop me from going like this too much with my ankle and even like this too much so I can tie it in a certain way to hold it and it's it's not so difficult so we take the end underneath the foot here and we're gonna go around one time to trap the end then if I lift my toe up towards me I can come here like this Hi and welcome back to Kalari Lab Online. My name is Adam. Today we're going to begin a new series. We're going to be looking at Kalari Clinic or rather treatments that you can do for yourself to keep yourself uh, training, to keep yourself going. Okay, so I apologize for the, the sounds. It's a little bit of different sounds going on today, but I'm hoping that uh, you can still hear me properly. Now, the first thing that I want us to consider is the ankle. So ankle is obviously a joint which we are using incredible amount in Kalari with all the jumps, with all of the uh, gripping of the ground, with all of the going down into the ground. We're using the ankle uh, significantly. Also, we're stretching a lot through the back line, through the side lines, through the lateral line, through the front line, all of the myofascial lines that cross the ankle. So we're doing sig significant work in this area. And it's not surprising that sometimes we're going to get this inflammation. Now, as actually appropriately, I do have some inflammation here. Now, I've drawn on for you the three main ligaments that are going to have a sprain or, or likely to sprain. Now, the first thing to, to say about ligaments is that when they are under construction, when they're going through the construction time, they are not going to necessarily uh, put the collagen down in the right way. So when, when a ligament, a ligament is joining your bone to bone, it's giving stability to the joint. When you get a damage, when the ankle turns, and in this case of these three, it's going to turn into inversion, or sometimes it can go into eversion, and then you're going to damage ligaments on the medial aspect. But today we're going to look at the lateral aspect. So we have what's called the calcaneofibular ligament, going from the calcaneus bone here, your heel bone, onto the fibula. Then you have the talofibula going on, uh, joining together the, the, uh, the talus and the fibula in the front. So this is the anterior and this is the posterior. So we have anterior and posterior talofibula and calcaneofibula. So these are the three in the uh, lateral complex of the ankle, which are most likely to sprain when we have an inversion injury like this. And this is the most common ankle sprain. So, from Western physio, we know rest, ice, compress, elevate. In fact, there is a P at the beginning, P-R-I-C-E, price. And I say Western, I just mean non kalari medicine. Yeah, so uh, obviously we're going to be looking at kalari medicine, but we're also going to integrate. So take pain relief if you need to carry on weight bearing. Otherwise, you will compensate. You will end up with problems elsewhere in the other hips in the ankle, in the knee. So if you're getting that um, pain and you need to keep walking, rather than compensating, take pain relief. If you can rest more or less 100%, then you can go straight to the ice. And this, of course, the pain is unbearable. Now with icing, we want to put for 15 minutes and then to take off for 15 minutes. We're not gonna do that for 15 minutes, we're gonna jump. But just to tell you that, the reason being after 15 minutes, the inflammation stage 
which is what's happening in this, the first stage of an ankle injury. You have inflammation, proliferation, and remodeling. Inflammation, you're getting more blood vessels and more blood in those vessels. So you're getting this swelling up. And that's what we can bring down with the ice. We can help to move it through into the next stage, which is the proliferation stage, where new collagen fibers are going to get laid down. Now, they're not going to necessarily get laid down appropriately. In fact, they're not going to get laid down appropriately. And they're going to need the third stage, remodeling, where it's very important what information we're giving to the ankle, how we're using it. And that we'll look at in a, in a later video. And we'll look at how to, to stabilize and strengthen the ankle appropriately after injury. But in that stage, that's in that remodeling stage, that's where the collagen fibers are now going to start to line up more along the ligament. So we're going to have this on for 15 minutes and then we're going to take it off. Uh, the reason being the body kind of thinks or adjusts to being in the cold and then it starts to send more blood there, which is what we don't want. So after 15 minutes, we take it off. So I'll see you again in a, about 12 minutes. So I brought in this cushion so that I can have my foot raised. Now, of course, ideally you want your foot kind of raised up really above your heart level so that it's not going to send as much blood there. And again, that's going to help to bring down this inflammation. So um, really, you know, you could sit more appropriately than this, but I'm just having to adjust a bit to, to get the light. So after 15 minutes, we can take off the ice. Now, at this stage, normally, if we were just coming from a kind of physiotherapy physiotherapy point of view, we would now put on the, the bandage or dry it and then put on the bandage. Maybe we could put some, some cream there or something for the swelling. Now, what I would really advise you to use at this stage, ah, oh, the cat's coming over. So what I would advise you to use at this stage is, uh, if you can get it, is Marmani. Now, Marmani is a uh, powder. It's made from four different trees, though the bark from four different trees is ground up into this powder. And you can mix it with egg white or you can mix it with vinegar. And then you make a paste in a pestle and mortar and you apply it. Now, actually, if you want this, it's a new product we're gonna start to provide in our shop. So if you, if you want to have this for any, uh, you know, to have it in the fridge is great. Or, you know, to have it in the cupboard and you can take it, mix it, put it in the fridge for the next few days. Then if you get a small injury, any sprain, any strain, you can put this on. We have a brown one for chronic, we have a for acute and a white one for chronic. And you can put this on and it helps to bring the inflammation down. Now, unfortunately, I don't have access to it because uh, in Thailand, I can't get it through the post. So um, instead, I'm going to jump to what will come next. But if you can get this Marmani, this brown paste, I will get a video made from India, from um, Shabas maybe, and I can get that um, on the on the on the on the on the page so you can see but in the meantime you simply take that brown paste you grind it into a powder so you take the powder you make it into a paste and you take it with these two fingers your third and fourth if this thumb is the first then the third and the fourth these are your healing healing fingers you take and you put here around you put this paste all around 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 you let it dry and then you can wrap around a cloth bandage now I have a, a thicker bandage, but you can use a cloth one. Now, before you do that, actually, <laughs> you should do this with the oil. Now I'm gonna just come forward. So what you want to do is take the oil. This is sesame oil. You want to put here onto the foot and you can come a little bit up here onto this bone here, onto the, the bottom part of your tibialis anterior and even here I can feel I can feel there some discomfort there so I'm just pressing down pressing down and again this is gonna help to push in the same way like in the Western approach they use ice to and compression to help to move it through we also use ice and compression but instead of the ice you can use just the Marmani powder so if you don't have access to ice you can just use this powder and mix it if not, you can use the ice, like I have done. And then, you can press. So you see, I'm just pressing down. And I can do like this as well. Just pressing down. And I, I hope you can see me. I, I will try and get a cameraman next time. But pressing down like this. 
So the flat of the thumb, you use the flat, pressing down. Be careful not to push in like this, push along, 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 push along like this, push along. Okay, enough. Now, the last stage is to bind it. So to give compression, again, to reduce the inflammation and to give stability to stop, in the case of my injury, to stop me from going like this too much with my ankle and even like this too much. So I can tie it in a certain way to hold it. And it's, it's not so difficult. So we take the end underneath the foot here. And we're going to go around one time to trap the end. Then, if I lift my toe up towards me, I can come here like this. Now, as I said, if you're using the Marmani, you could put the Marmani, then put the bandage, then put more Marmani, and it will make like a nice seal. So you can see by doing this, I'm pulling the ankle this way, which restricts the amount that it can move into plantar flexion, down like that. And then the end, I can just tuck it in. Now, if you're using, again, if you're using a cloth bandage, which you're going to dispose of, you could, you could tie it, you know, but for this one, it works just to tuck it. It doesn't lose its rigidity. Now you can see, you know, I may have done that a touch too tight uh, in my eagerness, but it stops now my foot from being able to go down like this. It holds it, you see? So now when I walk, it's going to keep it protected, this ligament. It will stop this ligament from pulling. Yeah, so actually, I've barely gone over the ligament, but as you can see, it's the stability that it's giving. Okay, so rest, most important. Ice, 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. You can have the bandage there, I can still ice it, no problem. But I can also take the bandage off to ice and give it some rest. The bandage is important if I'm going to walk around. So rest, ice, compression, elevation. So put your foot up, take some time out. See, if I really sit down now, it's as high as my heart. There we go. Something like that. <laughs> okay, so this is the first, the first part of this series. And as I say, what I hope is to, to show you how we can use Kalari. Uh, today we've looked at, I've discussed Marmani, which I, I don't have unfortunately, but I showed you how to do a massage technique with this sesame oil. The other oil, of course, the best oil you can use is Muriwena. If you have access to Muriwena, please use the Muriwena oil. Um, for any of these products, please approach me. If you don't know how to find them, I can help you. And um, all the best, okay? Now, with ankle sprains, it can take a long time. It could be fine again in a few couple of weeks, even a few days. Um, but it can also last months and even years if you don't take care. So do take care and stay strong. Okay, Nalakanam. Thank you.